Welcome Miller's Monsters and I have another deadly dinner for you and this one is called hold on it's called nothing listen heckle 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 it is a dried fermented rotted Icelandic shark and uh Come on, let me get through here. And uh, there is a very uh, lengthy way to cure this meat. Um, so it is edible, although in the end, I don't know why you would want to eat it. But uh, according to uh, the Canadian Institute of Food Safety, if you eat this uncured, um, obviously uh, food poisoning is one of the side effects intestinal distress no kidding neuro neurological effects oh my god somebody started moving if you watch the blooper you'll see some, holy crap the place is haunted sarah thank you anyways uh where wasn't i oh that was spooky <laughs> actually i tried to get it to work and it wouldn't work I thought the batteries were dead. Um, intestinal distress, neurological effects, and convulsions. Those are always fun. And um, so this is why you must cure this meat. And um, here's how you do it, all right? Well, you want to get yourself an Icelandic shark. Hey, give me that. Uh-oh, things are loose. An Icelandic shark. Uh, or, or Greenland shark. Uh, it's toxic to humans because it, it contains high levels of uric acid, acid and some really long 12 letter word that I'm not going to be uh, able to say. Trimethylamine oxide, okay, uh, which is basically a natural antifreeze. Uh, and that protects the shark, but not very tasty for humans. So, here is the process. First of all, behead the shark. Um, the head is useless, cannot be eaten. Then you dig yourself a shallow grave, or sorry, hole. And uh, you place the shark in there, cover it with sand, cover it with rocks so it presses all the juices um, out of the shark and it pretty much lays there and uh, ferments for six to 12 weeks, okay? Um, and it gets a very ammonia-like smell. Um, after that, you dig it up, holding your breath, probably. Uh, get back in here. It's okay. Uh, cut it into strips, and you put it in its own special shack, because I'm sure you don't want to smell that thing for seven months, or several months. And once it's dried, it gets a nice uh, brownish uh, rind on it, you peel that off, and it's uh, ready to eat. And uh, I'm read, I haven't been told that it uh, smells like ammonia and tastes like, well, pee. Obviously, this is, isn't Icelandic shark meat, although I think Luna would eat it, so um, I'll pass. Uh, not much in. in <laughs> interested in in shark meat that smells like ammonia and tastes like pee they do take it sometimes with a shot afterwards so what i would do is get the shark or the hockle and the uh, shot throw the hockle over my shoulder and drink the shot talk to you later